Phew. All this home touring is making me very tired. <laughs> no, different day, different time. Everything's fine. I just want to continue trekking on. So we've been to the tea tree porch. We've been to the travel the lounge and dining room. We've been to the palm room and little palm room bar. We've been to the explorer suite. We've been to the botanist suite. We've been to the collector suite. If you haven't seen all of those rooms yet, you can find them all on YouTube here. I'll actually call each room by its name so that it'll make it easier for you to find it. But now is my room. So the way I've got the guest house set up and you know, well, the, will it be a guest house forever? I don't know. But at the moment, it's my home and the guest house, and I have my own separate wing, I guess you'd say. So today I'm going to be talking to you about my room. And um, I love this room. When I bought the house, the carpet was stained and it needed a little bit of, it needed replacing. And it was a very big room, but it didn't have um, much decoration or anything. So I set about to change that because I think your bedroom, your own bedroom has to be a real haven. And for a woman on their own, like I am, it just had to be really peaceful. And it had to be somewhere I could just come to the, at the end of a busy working day or being out in the garden or talking to you um, and just relax. And I've really grown to love my space so much. And um, I didn't really have the vision for it at the beginning. It just kind of evolved. And so I really want to take you and show you around my room. So I'm going to start at the door shortly and then I'll take you through. All right, time to take you to my suite, which is the naturalist suite. Now I talked to you about the fact that it comes off the main spaces, but it's kind of its own little separate wing. So. Welcome to the naturalist suite. So this is my room and it's my absolute love. Oh, that door makes a lovely noise. Um, it's my absolute love being in this room. So I'll show you around and then I'll go into detail about what's from where, how did I pull it together and so on. So that door there takes me through to my walk-in robe. That door there takes me through to my ensuite. And then there I am <laughs> in the mirror. So um, let's start with this piece. Uh, guess where I got it from? Yes, you're right, Marketplace. So I bought this and uh, I really loved it. I saw it on Marketplace. I didn't know where it was gonna go. I bought it in Brisbane before I came up. And I just loved it. So it's worked in perfectly. And then as luck would have it, at another time, somebody uh, had these mirrors. And I think they're Burm, from Burma. Beautiful mirrors. And it just so happened to almost work perfectly with that. So I've put these mirrors in. Let me go back over to here so you can see. I've put these two mirrors side by side. As you can see, my, med my mirror my mirror fetish just keeps going on and on. So let's go deeper and in, into what I've got here. Um, what I do, see these, these are probably from the 60s where people had dips and olives and all of that sort of stuff in them. Anything like that that's carved that looks a bit old fashioned, they're so good for earrings. So whenever I see something like that, I think, yep, perfect, that'll do for that kind of application. I, uh, this is one of my treasures. When I was taking my women's trips to Italy, I did one and we spent quite a bit of time in Florence and I took the ladies to a marketplace and it was an antique market and I bought this beautiful leather jewelry box and I just absolutely adore it. I just love looking at it. <laughs> it does, and just I've got little things in here, no drawers with jewelry and bits and pieces. All sorts of things that my sister-in-law gave me that for my birthday. So all those little things. This, this, I went to a, a farm in Bali uh, and, um, and this is a bit of a mess at the moment, but this was hand carved and I'm assuming it, it's a tree used for jewellery. Who knows? But that's what I've done with it. I've put all my necklaces on it. Um, 
as usual, my love of the handmade continues. Look at this just beautiful shell box, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. I just love the shape of it. I love the color of it. And um, it just works. This is my most recent purchase and hopefully one of my last because I really haven't got space left. But um, I was at the markets in Toowoomba and uh, there was a lady and she was hand crocheting. She'd hand crocheted this and then she'd bought, I guess, acquired, maybe it was one of her own old lamp bases and she's painted it up and added some rope. So I love this. So this is where I sit and do my journaling each day. So that's the little lamp there for there. I think that chair, yep, you betcha, it got, came from Marketplace a while back. It's been my morning ritual chair. I sit in it, I journal, I tuck my feet up on this ottoman that would have come from Kmart. Um, I bring the ottoman around and I sit and I do my gratitude journal. I grab one of the pens out of my little rattan case that I bought in Bali. I just love that. and. Um, and I do my journaling and I love it. And I do my reading here. And uh, so I love that. And then there's always just this little rug to throw around my shoulders when I get up first thing in the morning if it's cold or I'll put over my lap. So it's just a really nice, peaceful little space there. I guess the next thing we could talk about would be the, the wallpaper. And I had, to, I, I had to choose a little thing online, a little swatch. And it was a bit of a risk, really, because, you know, I just had this carpet pulled it, put in, which was really neutral. And I had to try and find a wallpaper that would not be too overpowering. Because, as you can see, it's quite a big room. And I didn't want it to take over the room. I just wanted to have a subtle element. But I really am happy with how it's worked out. Like, if... Let me go around the room. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you dizzy. It just... It's just peaceful. And it's soft. And if you look at it sideways, it's kind of got a silver fleck through it, like a metallic fleck. So I really like it and I think it works well. Um, once again, like the other rooms, I put the curtains nice and high in these rooms to give it height. Don't go straight over. If you've got high ceilings like this, don't go straight over the doors. It's not good. I'll show you outside another day, but basically I've got a little deck and stairs. <laughs> can't really see through the the gauze um now these side tables when i bought them i wasn't quite sure the where they'd go but they are old entertainment units and uh used for tv on the top and video player down underneath and videos underneath that in the drawers but they've absolutely been fabulous for side tables and because i had quite a low, wide space if i just had these piddly little side tables they wouldn't work so um you know once again i've just got handcrafted artifacts you know um and lamp i've got those lamps from um early settler and i just buy books beautiful books like that from the op shop that finish it off and um so over this side i've also got the bedside tables and I I really like you know just having a marble tray or something like that there Got, I bought this in Berry, south of Sydney in a little shop many many years ago probably 45 um, 15 years ago and um yeah it's it's nice just to have that tray next to your bed another matching lamp and um you know as I said to you always buying these trays they're great to put things on when you want to dust you just shift them even in this room like just to have some greenery i just put one simple palm frond i don't have to go and buy fancy greenery or flowers or spend a lot of money i just do something simple have my reading material in there um i bought this bed head from early settler and i just fell in love it was in a reduced clearance and i walked in and i said to the woman i just have to have it it was perfect when I was putting this room together and I loved it. So in this, in my room, I've just got a mixture of white linen, um, sorry, white cotton sheeting and then just natural linen quilt. So it's very simple, very peaceful. It all kind of works together. I think it does. Um, I think I got the cushions from TK Maxx. 
I don't spend much money on anything. <laughs> Everything's a good buy generally. Um, oh, in the bottom of the bed, I had I, when I had the bed when I ordered the bed, I just had it done in this. Well, it's like a leather look fabric at the bottom. It just means it doesn't get dirty and it kind of works with the leather bed head. So I'm happy with that. And I got this off Marketplace, this beautiful old table. And I must say, I just love, love, love the legs on this. Look at the feet and just the carving. It's just the sweetest, sweetest thing. Great for suitcases and things like that. So that's this room. I'll go up a bit. That's the natural suite, my room. I bought these from Temple and Webster and bought them online. I, When I see something that I know I love, it actually takes my breath away. And when I saw those online, they took my breath away. And when I got them and I unpacked them, they were actually even more beautiful than I saw online. And I, I love them. I lie in bed and I love them so much. I switched out and got a new fan. Well, I know there was no fan here actually, and I put a wooden fan here just to finish the look. So I've got the wooden rods, you know, the wooden leather, the shell. I tried to put it all together so it would all be quite cohesive. So that's my room, the naturalist suite. And on another day, I'll take you into the bathroom and another day I'll take you into the walking robe. But for today, I really hope you like the behind the scenes of my bedroom.